Hello and welcome to the Cyber Security Video Series powered by Saraswati Repository. My name is Vishal Majithia. In my earlier video, I have shown you how to perform man in the middle art poisoning attack using Eater Gap. So in my previous video, we were able to capture the or harvest the credential of the victim uh, which we are using the unencrypted protocols like HTTP, Telnet, etc. But what if the user is using the SSL or HTTPS traffic and how to intercept the SSL traffic and harvest the credential or drive the information what is being sent by the victim to the destination using your MITM attack. So in this video we'll be performing MITM that is man in the middle R poisoning attack using SSL strip which is also part of eater gap. So we'll be performing this experiment or we'll be doing this uh, man in the middle attack using EtherCap. So first of all, let me configure uh, EtherCap in the, my attacker machine. This is my attacker machine, as you can see here, attacker. So this is the Parrot Linux that I have already installed in my virtual machine, on which I'll be performing the EtherCap functionalities. So open up the terminal. Let me zoom in a little bit, so it would be easier for you to see. So first of all, uh, we need to move, navigate to the ethercap file that is placed in etc, ethercap, and ls. As you can see, there are the uh, four files available. We need to open up the ether.conf file. Let us edit this file, sudo nano, ether.conf. In order to perform SSL stripping, we need to uncomment the SSL stripping on uh, iter.conf file. It is asking me for entering the username, uh, username and password for the IMVSM because we have asked for the pseudo privileges. So this is the iter.conf file of uh, etercap and uh, move down for this and you would find configuration let me show you let me maximize this screen as you move down slowly so here you, you will find read redirect command on or off so there are a lot of redirect command based on if you are using the eater cap on back os you need to uncommand this if you're using on free bsd you have to use this for redirection of ssl stripping so how actually how does the SSL stripping works? Let me first uh, and make you understand. So it's uh, so SSL stripping. Uh, how does it work? Uh, let me show. This is the victim machine, and this is the attacker machine both are placed in the LAN and there is a gateway here oh. Let this in the, so the gateway and both are in common LAN because we are performing the art poisoning attack in order to do this and it would only be applicable on the LAN if you are using ethercap for any man in the middle attack and this is the connection to the internet where the web server is placed and it is connected with the data center or we can say DC where the I hosted my website in the AWS data center uh, so the victim will be accessing this web server using HTTPS that would be HTTPS this is the web server it is placed on the Amazon and it will be the victim will be accessing this uh, connection using HTTPS and this attacker will be doing performing the R poisoning so the, gradually all the flame frames will be redirected to the attacker and it will forward all the frames to the gateway and after that the gateway will be forward this all the frames or the packets to the destination web server so how does the SSL stripping that is called SSL strip attack works and actually when the user or the victim sends the packets 
to the attacker it will send it directly to the web server and, and the response of the that web server will come will be the encrypted and after that when the attacker receives it the the actual packets or the http response it will dissect the ssl means it will dissect the ssl and it will send the http traffic not https traffic it will offload the ssl sorry offload ssl and it will send the traffic in clear text that will be in clear text to the victim and when the victim send the you uh, again request it will be passed through the attacker the attacker will able to retrieve the information in the clear text after that the attacker will perform the encryption here and it will and the information or the http request will be passed on towards the internet to the web server destination web server so this is how the ssl stripping attack will be performed by the eater cap we are will be performing it by eater cap which is a tool available in the parrot and Calilix by default so this so this was the mechanism of ssl stripping So for redirection, for this we need to configure the eater.configuration file for the redirection and in the Linux we are because we are using the eater cap in the Linux so we need to uncomment this part. So uncomment this one, redirect on off. Also don't forget to uncomment IPv6 because if you forget to uncomment IPv6 the eater cap would not be able to run it will show you the error so uncomment ipv4 as well as ipv6 so after that we will be saving this file and let us check the ip address of this attacker machine it's a 192.168.143.30 and uh, let us verify the ip address of the victim on which we want or on which on which system we want to target this uh, like open up the terminal let me zoom in a little bit uh, I have currently the IP is 192.168.143.25 the mains both the systems are in the single LAN so our poisoning will be effective for this victim so what we'll be doing here will be typing sudo etercap hyphen g for the graphical user interface press enter so we have now uh, configured the ssl stripping or edited the con eater dot configuration file in the etercap and now this etercap will would be able to perform the ssl stripping and also we need to verify this uh, before that let me close this one and we need to verify the forwarding that we have enabled the forwarding or not um, by typing this cat proxys net ipv4 slash ip underscore forward at zero we have not um, set this parameter ip forward it is used for forwarding the traffic when it comes towards your interface or not so what we'll be doing we'll be uh, setting this as a one by logging to root super user otherwise it won't allow us to update so we are now logged into the root user now what we'll be doing here will be updating this parameter by typing echo one and proxys net ipv4 ip underscore forward so now we'll verify this by typing command proxys net ipv4 ip underscore forward command so it has been set to one let me exit from the root so now i've been logged out from the root and now i'll be running the eater cap sudo eater cap hyphen g for the graphical user interface of the eater cap so we have enabled the ssl for uh, ssl stripping functionalities on the linux by editing the eater.com file and we have also enabled the ip forward so now 
the, my ether gap is open and now what we'll be doing we'll be clicking on this right or accepting and it, after that clicking on this right it will start the unified sniffing over the interface that is etx0 that is my interface so what i will be doing next is you'll click on three bars click on the host and list the host these are the host available now what we'll be doing we'll be scanning for the host by clicking on the host and scan for the host it will scale all the host on this subnet or on this lan so as you can see it has found out the three hosts that is 191.6.1.432.1 that is my gateway 143.25 that's the victim and 143.27 that's another system available so we will be targeting this system and the internet gateway because uh, the victim will be sending the traffic uh, sending or receiving the traffic from the internet and the webs because my web server is hosted on amazon it so it requires the internet connection to be accessed so this victim will be sending the traffic over the internet so we'll be targeting this gateway as a target one and victim as a target two now what we'll be doing we'll be clicking on this and we'll be performing the uh, before that performing uh, we'll be click on three bars and click on the plugin manage plugins here is the ssl strip plugin we'll be activating by right click on this ssl strip and we'll be activating this plugin ssl strip and after that we have we'll be doing here is we'll be doing the performing the art poisoning on the tar uh, both the targets and click on globe icon and click on the SSL intercept so now it has started the art poisoning as well as it has also enabled the SSL stripping as you can see here SSL stripping has been bind to this so now we'll be open up uh, let, let me jump into the victim machine what is the impact and what what's going on here uh, let me open up the browser and reopen it again as it was stuck so we'll be opening up my website that is Vishal Majitya dot tech and So as you can see it was actually in the SSL now you can see it has been in the clear text means whatever the traffic has been received by us is in clear text so what we'll be doing now if the attack or the victim machines uh, log into the admin administration console of the WordPress which is now been dissected by as you can see part of the servers regarding to the request and try again except the cookies So as you can see we were able to get to the administration console and it user or the victim accidentally entered the username and password in this let me enter the username and password because right now it, uh, the victim system has been compromised by the attacker because the attacker is performing the SSL strip attack on this victim machine as you can see the actual site is uh, encrypted by the HTTPS by the SSL and it is showing us unencrypted login can say this again okay. so it is a uh, please isn't preparing properly it means something that is being wrong there and let me jump into the attacker machine what whether it was able to harvest credential or not because we have not started the wireshark for this so let me start the wireshark for this for capturing the packets
and start the capture on ETH0 on that interface we want Wireshark to be running and click on the with theme and let, let me do it again on one of the browser and clear the cache first because we have done that earlier that's why it might be storing the cookies for this so now we have successfully cleared the browser and now we'll be opening up the, my, my website with this Vishal Music Terror attack will be dissected by the SSL as you can see by the SSL strip and uh, if the user accidentally log into the administration console of my word or the web or the WordPress or any of the website it doesn't have any strong encryption or strict and uh, HTTPS connection to the end devices then this tool will be able to perform the dissection for this it is not allowing us actually the this SSL strip is a is in development as you can see it has been redirected to the WP login and if the user accidentally enters the username and password and this kind of website it doesn't have the SSL certificate, but actually it has uh, because it has been dissected or the SSL has been uploaded by the editor right now. So it is showing us in clear now at TTP. So let us and that we have capture all the packs. Let me stop the capture and. In the filter, we'll be typing HTTP dot request dot method equal equal post because the HTTP send the traffic and uh, if you want to and victim send a user browser sends the traffic uses the post method in order to fill up the form or in order to send the traffic to the web server or submit to the submit traffic to the web server. So here you can see the source IP is 192.168.143.25 that is the IP address of the victim and destination is 65.2.84.37 that is the IP address of my website. So here it has sent in uh, username and password let me you can check it by clicking on third packet that it has send the username and password like by we can verify or tell the user or harvest the username and password or credential by clicking on the http packet by right click on http packets and follow click on follow and follow tc stream so. Click back, uh, click on the first packet, click right click on the first packet and follow the TCP stream whether we were able to harvest the credential or not. Well, let us search by PWD. As you can see, the user, the username is user and the password is VSM and in the last 143 it has been encoded but it shows us in the clear text so this is how you can sniff the SSL traffic or intercept the SSL traffic using MITM or poisoning using SSL strip attack in the eater cap so I hope this was informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching this video thanks